Hey, this is Dave from By The Way, and I am here with another World of Warcraft Myths of Pandaria Dungeon Guide. This is the normal version of Shandu, Shando Pan, Shando Pan Ma Monastery? Yeah, we'll go with that, Shando Pan Monastery. Uh, I will be taking the role of healer. There are four bosses in this dungeon, and in the background you can hear a little bit of uh, the Orgrimmar main theme. Is it the Orgrimmar main theme? It is the main title, Legends of Azeroth, by Jason Hayes. I uh, love this song. Very epical. Uh, moving on into the dungeon. Uh, once you enter and you turn left, you are going to see uh, ambushers popping up. Uh, these guys are going to pop up uh, behind you. They're going to jump around. They're going to switch targets. Uh, Focus on, see those three guys right there? Focus on those three guys, the main guys. Um, anybody who has any type of AoE can uh, kind of shoot down the ambushers a little bit. They die pretty quick. But uh, you're going to want to get the main guys down because those are the guys doing, creating the, the ambushers or forcing them to show up. Now this is my first time through the dungeon, so... Um, kind of go overboard with healing here. I'm, I'm a half half mana. It's not that hard of a dungeon to heal through. I uh, wasn't uh, I didn't know what to expect, so I went overboard just to to be safe. Moving on out, we're on the first boss already, Goo Cloud Strike. Um, now you this guy is not difficult in any way. Uh, in the background you'll see a little uh, dragon pop up. He's going to shoot those electrical uh, balls at you. Uh, you'll see them coming because you'll see clouds on the ground before they hit. Uh, they stay on the ground for a little bit, uh, do a decent amount of damage, so just to uh, move out of the way. Uh, they're easy to avoid because they move slow and you do get that, that warning. Uh, his little breath there doesn't do too much damage if it does any at all. Uh, at a, this point, Goo is uh, invulnerable, so you have to attack the dragon in the background. And that magnetic shield that is on, or magnetic shroud, healers have to heal through that. It's a 50,000 uh, healing points and the shroud goes away. Um, otherwise it's doing damage and you can't really do any type of healing until you hit 50,000. So uh, just pop whatever, anything you can to just to get that away. He does it maybe two or three times. Once he's dead, move back onto Goo. He'll do some chain lightning, which I'm pretty sure you can't avoid. It's going to hit anybody anyway. Um, I didn't actually try to move away from it, but uh, we didn't have a problem right there. Just burn him down and uh, move on just clearing some more mobs here same deal group them up burn them down um, uh, because I was just the, the tanks in the not necessarily in a hurry, but uh, he's moving, so I'm trying to drink whenever I have the chance. The next boss we'll be heading towards is Master Snowdrift. He resides in his dojo. Now you can mount up here. Uh, you can see it's raining uh, ice beam things. If you get hit like uh, the mage did right there, no big deal. You freeze for a second and you keep running. Now we're in the dojo. Master Snowdrift is going to challenge us. Uh, he's going to start throwing his junior students at us. Uh, they will randomly target somebody, run over to them, but they can be taken with any type of taunt or th threat uh, generation easily. Um, the best way to take care of this situation, we didn't do it right away until, I want to say right now, group up. Because they're going to come running at you, the tank can do whatever he needs to do, any type of AoE threat, and pull them off. Uh, they burn down pretty quickly, but uh, there is a lot of them, so. And they'll just keep coming at you. So group up. Um, as a druid, I can throw down my circle, the healing thing, and uh, keep us up pretty well. Once this ends, uh, Master Snowdrift is going to throw a couple of veterans at us. Uh, two female from Pandaren. Uh, Ninja Monk things. And, uh, they're not too bad. Um, here they come. Flying Snow and Fragrant Lotus. Uh, they are not too difficult. Uh, we stayed grouped up. Um, 
Hunter ran off to the side, old habits. Uh, they do a little bit of a spinning attack every once in a while. Uh, you can stay through it. I healed through it. I'm just basically standing right next to him anyway. Um, now the staff flew off. Don't worry about the staff. Uh, just forget, just burn down the, the two veterans and the staff goes away. Now we move on. We're going to take on Master Snowdrift. Here's a couple of phases here. Uh, initially, uh, you're going to tank him right there. He will do a Thunder Fury punch thing. Doesn't uh, hit the the warrior there. Did a little bit of damage. Not horrible. Uh, then he does his like tornado kick thing. Um, if you get caught in it, I believe you get a little bit of a knockback. Uh, best to just uh, range, stay out of the way. Uh, if you get hit with it, uh, no big deal. Nobody really took any massive damage from it. He's going to switch over to phase two now. Well, pretty soon. Phase two, he creates a couple of Im images of himself, um, and he does a Hadouken. Uh, these, uh, this is being shown at 200%, so it looks like they're moving quick, but these are relatively slow moving. Um, if you get hit by them, they don't do a ton of damage. Uh, but if you get hit multiple times, they could they could chop you down pretty quick. Uh, they're they're very easy to avoid, so you shouldn't be getting hit by them. He throws in a uh, a red one, and uh, you can see that one flying around as well. Uh, the tank and the DPS just target one of them, break them down, and then he um, he'll combine into one again. And you finish him off. You can see the guild standard went down because the fight is almost over. I said my first time through, so we got quests. All right, now here a uh, little bit of a weird situation. There's like this hill, so I I lost a uh, line of sight of the tank. Um, the Shah, as you can see, I'm purple. I have a magic debuff on me, and then they spit it on a couple more people. I couldn't do anything about the magic debuff, um, and it does a uh, decent amount of damage. Nothing you can't heal through. Probably would have been better had I. It, the range had stayed a little bit further away, and I'd stayed a little bit further away, but uh, not horrible. More purple debuffs, heal through it, no big deal. Get out of the fire. Now you can avoid this group at the top by cutting it short and not going right down the stairs. You know, to fight an extra group. Um, this group right before the bridge, uh, something hits the warrior. I don't, I forgot to look at what it was, but the warrior gets chopped down in about two or three hits. Uh, he's the only one who dies until the final boss, but see, he gets, he gets chopped down pretty quick. I didn't even really have any time to react to it. Res him, heal him back up, move on. Start to make our way to the Shaw of Violence. After we clear out a couple more packs. Standard pack management here. Uh, mob pack management. Just grab them, pull them all together, break them down. Don't these guys do anything special. the big bonfire. I stopped to get some mana. Now the Shah of Violence is going to create a couple of... he's going to do a couple of things. He does... Um, he'll create these uh, these little minions. You'll see one pop up right away right here. Boop. They pop up at your feet. So uh, they're randomly chosen. He'll pick somebody and they'll pop up at your feet. Uh, you can't avoid it they instantly aggro to the person that they that they um, spawn next to so you can see uh, at this point I try and get the, the tank to pull one off of me and then eventually you'll see the the mage get a couple on him and the tank has to move to him and vice versa just to pull them off they're not uh, difficult his little swirly thing there it's uh, not doing enough damage that I was worried about it
He does have an enrage. I don't think we saw it happen. Smoke blades. Takes nearby enemies with a smoke. Smoky Rowan inflicting 17% damage and reducing their chance to critical chance tr critical strike by 100%. Um, that's what he does when he spins around. Uh, there was uh, he did, I believe it's the Shaw Spike where he almost took out the mage there. That did uh, a good amount of damage. But for the most part, uh, be wary of the ads that are being created uh, and burn them down. Not hard. Now here there's a couple of bears floating. You're going to want to walk up. You're going to touch them. They're going to glow. You're going to move on to the next pack. <clears throat> the uh, those purple floaty things. The hatred essences. Um, you can. They're pretty easy to burn down. Right here the, the hunter decides that he can shoot them down um, from afar. And then, which which helped out because there's a little special thing that they'll do if they're up long enough. Grab another panda there. And just burn down this group. Now you'll see the, the hunter will run off to the side. He's going to kill some more purple things. Not something you need to do. It just was uh, a little bit helpful. It was his idea. He said, I, I, can, uh, I can shoot these from afar. You guys uh, just uh, wait for me to kill them. I'm like, okay. Ah, the beautiful sounds of Azeroth. Alright, now this is a key piece right here. You see those uh, that swirly purple circle? Stay out of it. If you're in the middle, you're fine. If you're in the outskirts of it, you're fine. If you're in the path of it, you're going to get chopped down pretty quick. So, move out of the way. You can see the the hunter got caught there for a second, and he gets chopped down pretty quick. So um, easy to avoid. Obviously, if you're melee, you're not going to get hit by it. It's mainly for the ranged and the healers. One last group before the final boss, Terran Zoo. Uh, we died the first time going through because I got caught in the purple circle. But, uh, second time through, I was a little bit smarter. Almost got caught again, but uh, got out of it. Now you're going to get a, a button in a bar above your, your UI for this match. A little glitch in the video right here. Boop. Now you can see I have the mass uh, mass res uh, debuff on me. Now you see there's the meditate. It's a it's a meditate icon. What happens is the haze of hate builds up on you. Um, when it overwhelms you, when it gets too high, uh, you can't hit anything, and healing is reduced by 75%. You meditate to drop that down. Uh, those gripping hands, when those pop up, you need to target them and break them down. Even though the tank can stay on the, the main boss, there's the purple circle. You need to stay away from that. Even though the tank it can stay on the main boss, the DPS need to chop those purple circles down. They will pull you into them like that. Boop. Uh, they do damage, so but they die quickly. So DPS switch over to them. Two or three at a time pop up. I don't think I saw four at any time. Um, pop a little meditate. I usually pop meditate when I got to about halfway and you can see my hatred drops down. He's constantly spawning the purple circles. Switch back to the boss. Burn him down. Uh, I think at the end of this he spawns the purple circles right before the end. And uh we just finish him off and the purple circles go away. So you get pulled into those and can be quite annoying. 
especially for timed casters. Just watch out for the swirly purples. And if the tank's moving them, that's also kind of a frustrating thing because they move with him. Here goes the purple circles. We just finish him off. And that is the end. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm Dave. Good luck and have fun.